I'm Susan McGinnis in the Energy News Center. Wednesday's Cape Wind announcement giving the go ahead for the country's first offshore wind project brought criticism and praise. Some of that praise from a turbine maker not associated with Cape Wind. And joining us now is Ditlev Engel. He is president and CEO of Vestas Wind Systems, a wind turbine maker based in Denmark, manufacturing components for projects worldwide. Mr. Engel, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Sorry. It's good to see you again. So the very first U.S. offshore wind farm is now approved. Give us a sense from your perspective of how significant is this particular Cape Wind decision to the wind industry and to manufacturers like yours? Well, I think it's, uh, it's demonstrating the necessary leadership in really changing the energy agenda for the United States going forward. And uh, even though I have to say this project, uh, unfortunately, is not with Vestas, but one of our colleagues in the industry, I think it's very significant that the movement towards a new energy agenda for the United States is now really happening. So what is your outlook for Salazar's decision on you know, the, the prospects now for the U.S. market? It took nine years for this one. Was this a, you know, a one-time wonder, or is this particular decision uh, very meaningful for a real kickoff in the U.S. of offshore wind? Well, I think, it's, uh, I think it's, of course, still early days, and this will be the first project, and I think we'll probably see more in the coming years. But I think more fundamentally, looking at the need for changing the entire approach to the way energy is being consumed in the United States, I think it's a very important step. I mean, you are importing oil of the magnitude of more than a billion dollars a day, 365 days a year, and that is even with a low oil price. So I think it's very important that the steps are being taken for a new energy agenda for the United States. So you see a real door opening here. What, what about the potential uh, in in the U.S. for companies like Vestas to locate more manufacturing here? Well, we have been ramping up and invested more than a billion U.S. dollars into the state of uh, Colorado. We have just announced we're employing another 2,000 people in the United States, bringing us up to a total of 4,000 people. And I think it's important to remember that the United States has some of the best wind resources in the world. So that is a huge opportunity to improve both on energy, on climate, and also, of course, uh, cutting the trade deficit. So I think there are a lot of opportunities here, and we're already here, and, and we'll be happy to invest more if, if necessary. Well, that's what a lot of the governors want right now, states including New Jersey, Rhode Island, Delaware. You know, this is really what they're looking for is component of manufacturing. Where else do you see the best potential here for offshore wind and particularly manufacturing? Do you have your eyes on any more spots or any partnerships you guys are involved in right now? Well, I think first, uh, I think more offshore will happen in the U.S., but I think also it's important to say that you have fantastic wind resources onshore. And it's, of course, faster to deploy the wind uh, onshore than it is offshore. So I think uh, more will happen on the offshore, but on the short term, we will see more onshore. And, uh, and therefore, I think that's where we have our focus first and foremost. But I think it's very great to see that now steps are being taken also to go, to go, to go offshore. So uh, from that perspective, a good day. Having taken nine years for federal approval for this one, do you see the process shortening now that this decision has been made, or do you still see it taking years? You know, does, does siting for these giant installations maybe involve more issues that, that need more consideration? Well, I think as we will expect to see the prices of oil keep going up, I think that will make a lot of the decision making easier because we are only going to reduce the cost of energy from our type of energy, whereas I think everybody agrees that the cost of fossil fuel will go up in the years to come. And I think that will actually also speed up the decision making process in turning into a new energy agenda. So I think this is going to be the first of many steps in that specific direction. And as I said, it will create a lot of jobs, it will cut the trade deficit, and it will secure a more domestic fuel for the United States. All right. We're so Certainly a lot to uh, hope that you are right. Mr. Ditlove Engel, President and CEO of Vestas Wind Systems, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much.